And after boasting this way of my tolerance, I come to the admission that it has a limit. Conduct may be founded on the hard rock or the wet marshes, but after a certain point, I don't care what it's founded on. I married him because I thought he was a gentleman, she said finally. I thought he knew something about breeding, but he wasn't fit to lick my shoe. The two girls and Jordan leaned together confidentially. Somebody told me they thought he killed a man once. A thrill passed over all of us. The three Mr. Mumbles bent forward and listened eagerly. I don't think it's so much that, argued Lucille skeptically. It's more that he was a German spy during the war. One of the men nodded in confirmation. I heard that from a man who knew all about him. Grew up with him in Germany, he assured us positively. Oh no, said the first girl. It couldn't be that, because he was in the American army during the war. As her credulity switched back to her, she leaned forward with enthusiasm. You look at him sometimes when he thinks nobody's looking at him. I'll bet he's killed a man. His voice was solemn, as if the memory of that sudden extinction of a clan still haunted him. For a moment, I suspected that he was pulling my leg, but a glance at him convinced me otherwise. Nobody's coming to tea. It's too late. He looked at his watch as if there was some pressing demand on his time elsewhere. I can't wait all day. Tom was evidently perturbed at Daisy's running around alone. For the, on the following Saturday night, he came with her to Gatsby's party. She had told him that she loved him. And Tom Buchanan saw. He was astounded. His mouth opened a little. And he looked at Gatsby, and then he looked back at Daisy, as if he had just recognized her as someone he knew a long time ago. I don't think she ever loved him. Gatsby turned around from a window and looked at me challengingly. You must remember, old sport. She was very excited this afternoon. He told her those things in a way that frightened her. And he, he made it look as if I was some kind of cheap sharper. And the result was she hardly knew what she was saying. It eluded us then. But that's no matter. Tomorrow, we will run faster. We will stretch out our arms further. And one fine morning... So we beat on, boat against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past.